uh, 37.5 kVA generator unit that will be running at 1,000 RPM. This will be built driven from a diesel engine, flywheel 56 inch in diameter, D1 is 9.5 inches. Uh, that will be generator shaft. The center length distance will be 106 inches. Horizontal uh, use machine wireless with your double and a belt. Determine the belt weight by the alba table. And using the same recommendation from the alba table, they compute the stress from the general belt equation. Okay? So, if we go back to our discussion regarding shafting, right? in shafting, we commonly design the shaft ordinarily, or we can determine or we can design the shaft based on the ASME goal. Okay? So, when we design the shaft based on the, and the ASME goal, we consider several conditions for that. Now the same is so with respect to the flat belt, okay? So you can design a flat belt based on what you time as the alpha equation, okay, from number three. So I name alpha equation. Alpha actually represents uh, the acronym for the American Leather Belting Association, okay? So it means that this association actually Give us an idea of determining the belt width, okay, by not do by not going to the giant belt equation, because from the alpha table we can determine the belt width easily, or probably uh, more uh, in a very uh, small solution through the, the determination of certain factors based on the motor, okay, whether being used based on the pulley sizes as well based on the cooperating condition. Okay, so these are the things that we need to consider in terms of the Alba equation. So what about the Alba equation? So according to the Alba equation, I think it's a gamut natin. Okay, so the horsepower is equivalent to the horsepower per inch multiplied by the width of the belt, C sub M, yung C sub P natin multiplied by C sub M. Okay? So what is the horsepower? Horsepower represents now the power of the motor or the driving system. Okay? One in that driving system not in, that corresponds to the horsepower for that. Now the horsepower per inch represents now that if let's say I have two connecting pulleys being connected now by a belt, okay, by this one, kung puputal po tuli ko yung belt na yan, nothing but one inch. Okay, how much horsepower we generated by one portion of that belt based on the amount of horsepower that we have. So kung puputurin ko yan, the one is, ilang horsepower ang binibigay niya. Okay, now B is the width of the belt. C sub M represents now the type of motor being used to drive the system. Okay, and then C sub P represents now the pulley sizes that we have. And C sub M represents now the operating condition. Ano yung operating condition? Is it a jerky load? Is it considered to be an oil that dusty wet condition? Or probably some other factors that contribute okay, to the efficiency of the belt itself. Now, so by the use of this equation, we can easily compute the power that we of the belt na inaanap natin. So this is not now using the general belt equation. We are not passing through that. Kasi general belt equation natin, kung titignan natin sa number one, medyo mahaba pa siya. We have to consider everything. Okay? But in this case, ito ang ginagamit kaya natin yan. Right now. So the same is true with respect to this one. Pwede rin natin malaman dito kung saan natin i-binibase sa design. Pero more or less, kung ano ba yung mabigay, ito muna gamitin natin. Okay. So according to the problem, this will be the driving system that we have. Ang sinabi niyang horizontal, this one, ito sabihin, yung center line distance and center line distance of the two pulley are pulley niya. Meaning horizontal siya kasi pwede yung vertical niya. Okay, or almost vertical. So the center length distance is given. The dynamic now to 106. Okay? So this one is equivalent now to 56. In chest diameter, this is equivalent now to 9.5. In chest diameter. So we're going to have 51 yan. Ito na ngayon yung Okay, so belt driven from a diesel engine running at 1,200 revolution per minute. The power is equivalent to 37.5 kVA. Okay, 
All right. Now, so you are using what? You are using now a machine that is wired. They have been a medium purple leather pen. Okay? All right. So first we determine. Ano muna yung weight of belt by using now the alpha table. Alright. So as I say natin to. So first we determine the horsepower. So this will be the horsepower of the driving system, of the motor or the engine itself. In this case, the driving system is a diesel engine which generates 37.5 kVA. So what will be the horsepower for this one? Ilang kilo at kaya yan? Same lang. Ilan? Yung 37.5 kVA is how many kilo at? The same thing, di ba? Ano lang yan? So yung 37 kVA is also equivalent to 37.5 kilo at. Ito din siya. Okay? Ito din siya. The same value that we have. Okay now. So but we need to convert this in terms of horsepower. So 37.5 kilowatt is how much? How many horsepower? Uh, Ilang horsepower to? 42.4. So we what? So we divide by what? By 0.7.6 kilowatt per horsepower. So we divide this one. 15 horsepower. Okay, we have Alright, now. So how do you determine this one? Okay, now how do you determine this one? So from table, Okay, so we're done. From table 17.1 of our textbook, we can determine the horsepower of our hands. Okay, if you have the textbook, I can take a look at that. A little bit of that. See me a little bit. Okay? So, we can take a little bit because we can take a look at the standard. So, I can take a look at the standard. So, I can take a look at the standard. It's actually taken from the textbook. All right. So, if you go to table 17.1, we cannot determine the horsepower per inch. Now, how do you determine that? All right. So, in order for me to determine the horsepower per inch, this one, first, I need to compute for the bed speed. So, una, hanapin muna natin yung bed speed natin. Okay? Bed speed natin given in terms of foot per minute. Okay? How do you determine that? So, we also give it down to 5 dn all over 12. So, 12 inch per foot. Okay? Now, so, saan natin ibay based on the side? So, basically, the base on the side will be more or less on the driving pulley. So, this will be the driving pulley. Okay? So, therefore, then natin ibay based on. So, velocity will be equivalent down to pi multiplied by 9.5 inches. The RPM is 1,200 revolution per minute all over 12 inches per foot. Okay, so therefore the fixed line velocity now will be equivalent to that one. So, ano muna yung ano? Pagbitin muna ha, yung fixed line velocity of x speed. Give me the value for this. Two nine eight four. Two nine eight four. Two nine eight four. Point fifty one. Okay, now. So, after determining the bed speed, you cannot determine the horsepower per inch in table 17.1. Okay, paano yun? Alright. Kung ito yung table natin, okay, this one, ito ang forma niya. So, ito pa yun yung bed speed. Okay? So, hahanapin kayo natin dito yan. Pagkakay natin dito ng 2984. Okay? Now, so where do you now determine the horsepower per inch? The horsepower per inch can now be determined on the side. Nanti dito. Okay, sa side na yan. So, hanapin nyo yung 2984 and then intersect it with hanapin nyo kaya ano pa yung given na condition. Sabi niya, we are using now a medium double leather belt. Medium represents now the type of service or the type of drive. Ang type of drive kasi pwedeng light service or medium uh, light, may, uh, light service, medium service or heavy service. So, these are the different types of loading that we have. A light, medium, and heavy. So, sabi niya, you're using now a medium. So, hanapin mo ngayon dito yung medium. Nakalagay dyan, medium. Okay? And then, 
After that, ano pa yung susunod? This is now subdivided again into different type of service. Meron tayong light, okay? Meron tayong medium, at meron tayong heavy. Okay? Now, so take note on table 17.1. Okay? Ayan to, ha? So, ito, pagkakot yan. Ito, medium ka, tapos, ano, medium double light. Okay? Or medium, yan, double. Okay. This is double. Okay? So, ito yung single, ito yung triple. Ito sabihin, single double ply. Okay? Now, so, double ply, medium double letter belt. So, medium ply, double ply, medium letter belt. So, intersect it with respect to this one. That intersection will give you now the horsepower per inch. Okay? So, kung wala siyang 2.984, okay, it's either you interpolate between the two values. Okay? You can interpolate. Para exacto. Or, kung pinakamalapit na lang. So, ano yung pinakamalapit? Ito, 3,000. 3,000 na lang. Bunyan natin. Malapit tayo naman siya. Kailala. So, medium double ply leather belt. Medium, ilan? 8.7. Okay? So, the horsepower per inch based on table 17.1 is equivalent now to 8.7. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin ng 8.7? Ibig sabihin, if I divide that letter belt into several inches, okay, or one inch, I can determine, I can get that the horsepower will be as within terms of 8.7, more or less yung ginagamit niya. Okay? Now, so, yan ang paggamit ng table 17.1 to determine the horsepower per inch. Now, so B is the width of the belt. Ito ang hinahanap natin. So, this is the width of the belt. Okay? Then what else? So, from table 17.2, okay, yung company table, kasunod, maliit lang. Okay? Andyan yung C sub M natin. Ito naman yung tatawag natin na motor size correction factor. Okay, operating factor siya. Now, ano yung type ng drive na ginagamit niya? In the problem, it says that what? You are using now what? A generator. Belt driven from a diesel engine. So, this is the type of drive that you are using. Okay, so, going to table 17.2, 17.2, going to C sub M table, may kita mo doon yung corresponding value ng C sub M natin. Okay, ano ang kalagyan dyan? So, hanapin mo ngayon dyan yung diesel engine na drive. Okay? So, kung walang diesel engine, meron siya nakalagay na ano? Any except electric motor. Because the other one, a square cage motor, starting cage motor, and so on and so forth. So, kung wala yung diesel engine, nakalagay dyan, any except electric motor. The corresponding value for CM is what? One siya. Okay? So, pag wala. Pero pag merong sinabi ng type ng engine, you can already tell me that one. Alright, now, again, so, what about C sub P? Again, C sub P represents now the pulley sizes. So, if you go to table 17.2 again, okay, you can tell me the value for C P. Anong pulley size ang gagamitin natin? Yung pulley size nung sa maliit na driving pulley natin. This one. So, you look for that one, 9.5 inches. So, ano yung correspondingly? What is now C sub P? <coughs> Point seven. 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 Pwede ba siyang jerky load? Pwede ba siyang all wet dusty condition? Or anything? Okay? Now, so, para malaman nyo kung ano yung value ito sa anong class operation, you go back to the problem. Okay? Tignan mo kung ano yung binigay niyang ibang condition. Sinabi lang niya, horizontal. So, hindi naman yan. Now, pag walang ibang condition na binigay, okay, you can assume this to be equivalent now to one na lang. Kung walang binigay na condition. Okay? So, do not assume it to be equivalent to zero. Okay, hindi pa pwede. Or, kung kasama lahat yan, pwede gamitin lahat yan. Depende sa condition. Okay, you can use everything. Or you can use all of the conditions given in the textbook. Para sa mga value natin yan. Okay? Pero pag walang binigay, very big ng konti yung ano niya, 
yung condition niya, you can assume it to be equivalent now to 1. Okay? Now, so knowing all of this, I go back now to the alpha table. From alpha table, or from this one, from alpha. Okay, from alpha table that we have, the horsepower is 50 horsepower. This will be equivalent now to 8.7. Okay, horsepower per inch. B, CF is 1, CP is 0.7, and CF is 1. Kaya B will be equivalent now to 50, all over 8.7, 1, 0.7, and 1. We have to learn for B, and there's something. Okay? So that is how we compute for the width of the rail. Let me talk about that. Even value? 8.2. Okay? So the width of the belt is equivalent now to 8.2 chest. So yan ang ginagamit natin which based on the alba table. Okay? So easily you can determine the width of the belt. Parang inapproximate mo. But with the approximate of the belt, use the alba table. Provided that, you know all the data considered. Okay? Now, kailang gagamitin ang alba table? If it's stated in the problem, or in the design, you use the ALBA table. But if it's not stated okay, in the design or in the problem, do not use the ALBA table. You use the other equation, which is what? Tinatawag natin ang general belt equation. Diba? Ang ginagamit natin yan. So these are the things that you need to consider in terms of the design of the belt itself. Okay? So, question. So, ganyan ang pagkuha niya, ha? using the alpha table that we have. Alright, now. So, kung alam na natin ang width ng belt, the next question is, okay, using the general belt equation, compute the stress from the general belt equation. So, using the recommendations in the text. Meaning, yung ibang data na kukunin natin will be taken from the text. Recommended. Okay? Compute the stress from the general belt equation. Alright. So, how do you determine this one? So, stress based on the general belt equation. Okay, what is that? So, F1 minus F2 equivalent now to the width and thickness is stress minus rho Bf squared all over G okay, Ef theta minus 1 all over Ef theta. Okay? So, isa natin ito ngayon. Alright, now. So, let's now compute for this one. Isa isa natin ito. Ano ba alam natin dito? Ito, alam na natin, taken from that. Okay, so this one, this way will be used in terms of this one. Ang hinahanap natin dyan is the belt stress. Okay, you're looking now for that one. Alright, so isa-isahin natin to F1, F2 natin to Alright, so to determine F1 and F2, we can determine this by using this equation. Diba, meron tayong equation that the net tension equivalent now to 33,000 horsepower all over we sabihin in terms of foot per minute. So, ito alam ko na. Taken from this one. Alam ko na yan. Okay? So, from our equation, we have this. So, this will be 33,000. Yung horsepower natin ay 50 all over 92984. Okay? So, therefore, F1 minus F2 will be equivalent to that one. Okay, ito. <coughs> 552 95 553 na lang Tratong na lang natin Okay? Alright? So alam ko na to Yung B alam ko na Equivalent na to 8.2 inches Now what about the thickness? Alright? So the thickness of the belt are standard Okay? If you go to table 17.1 Okay? If you go to table 17.1 Again Paano? So again table 17.1 Sabi niya, double, medium double header belt. Punta ka sa double, tapos meron kang medium, meron na corresponding na thickness dyan. Standard na yan. Okay? So, ano standard natin? Ano thickness natin? From the medium double ply leather belt. Take it from table 17.1. Ano yung thickness dyan? 30. Medyo maliliit lang yan, ha? 30 over. 30 over? 64. Okay? So, 30 all over 64 inches. So, yung walang libro, pasensyahan, ha? Ayun yung tignan. Ayun yung sinagdala ng libro. Ayun yung nakikita. Okay? So, that will be thickness. Now, yung thickness na yan, standard na yan. You don't need to uh, design that. Okay? Kasi doon sa medium, 
o yung lights, yung single thread o single ply, double ply, triple ply, magkakaiba sila. Okay? Ito lang natin yan, ha? Alright. So, eto, nasa ito natin yan, ha? Alright, what else? So, alam ko na ito, alam ko na yan. Ano yun? This is a belt material. Alright, this one. So, for leather belt, for a leather belt, Okay? You can now determine the density for the belt material. Bakit natin kung ano? Kasi sabi niya, use the recommended data coming from the text. Diba sabi niya? So, all data, more or less, can be determined from the textbook. So, since you are using a letter belt, okay, you can determine the corresponding belt density from the textbook. Nasa libro natin ito. So, okay, nakalagay dyan. So, kung titignan natin, 0.0, 35 pounds per cubic inches. Okay? Letter belt, ha? Nakalagay. Nasa libro lang yan. Hindi may wala yan. Alright? Now, if in case the problem is in the SI unit, you just simply convert this in terms of the SI. Okay? Pag rubber belt naman, meron din siya. Dalawang klase. Pag rubber belt, I think, is 0.0345. Okay? But take note, ha? Yan ay pounds per cubic inches. Ha? Mamagkamali kayo, ha? Baka ba ang gamit niya cubic foot? Alright, now. So, alam ko na to. Yung V sub S, yung compute na compute na natin na 2984 foot per minute, convert lang natin siya sa seconds. Okay? 60 seconds. Okay? So, what about the V sub S? Convert na lang. Okay? Nakompute naman natin eh. Okay, yan tayo lang to. Over 60 lang. 49.73. 1973 per second. Okay, now. So, alam ko na to. Yung G naman, alam na natin yan, di ba? 32.2 foot per second square. Okay? What else? Yung F natin. So, F is the coefficient of friction. Again, if you are using a leather belt, okay, ano? Leather belt, tapos, pag walang sinabi na material, ng pulley, nagkaya na natin ng cast iron na lang siya. Or cast steel. Okay? Now, So, the coefficient of friction tech knot is based not on the material of the belt, but on the material of the pulley. Okay? So, you have two material. One is a cast steel or cast iron. The other one is a what? A paper or wood pulley. So, pag walang binanggit sa problem, the most common is what? A eh? cast iron or cast steel. Okay? So, from our textbook, sa libro natin yan, meron tayong value na coefficient of friction for a cast iron or cast steel pulley, which is... Still, like point three. Okay, so from our textbook, the coefficient of friction is equivalent to point three. If you are using a cast iron or a cast steel, okay. So, nasa libro lahat siya, ha? Now, so, alam ko na yung F. Now, what about theta? So, theta is equivalent now to pi plus or minus d minus d all over c. Okay, now, so, commonly, pag the coefficient of friction for both pulleys will be the same, lumalabas na ang base palagi na design natin ay dun sa small pulley. Ha? Tandaan yun. Pag ang, uh, for the time base of the design, pag ang coefficient of friction, will be the same for both pulleys because we are using the same material. Okay, lumalabas, ang base and sign natin will always be on the driving or on the small pulley. Except perhaps yung una, di ba? Pagkaiba sila. So, dito naman, consider na lang natin ang base and sign natin. Okay, will be on the small or driving pulley. Okay? Yan siya. Alright. So, theta, is equivalent to pi minus d natin ay 56 minus 9.5 all over 106. So, therefore, theta will be valid now to what? Radius 10. What's your theta? Let's give me the value. So, this will be 2.7 radians. Okay? Alright. So, alam ko na. Alright. So, kung alam ko na lang dyan, I simply now go back to that equation. So, from this equation, or from this one, okay, hanapin ko na ngayon yung stress ng belt. Alam ko na yung F1 minus F2. This will be 533 pounds 
equivalent now to the width of the belt. The width is 8.2 inches. The thickness is 30 all over 64 inches. Yung stress natin is ano? Minus. Okay, ah? So, yung density ng belt material is 0 0.035 pounds per cubic inches multiplied by the uh, 49.73 foot per second squared. Okay, this really what? So, this is now 32.2 foot per second squared. That is the quantity E natin. Ang E natin is raised to 0.3 Multiply it by 2.7 minus 1. P raised to 0.3. 2.7. Okay. So now, take note that. Ang unit dapat nito is what? Pounds per is squared. Okay, ha? Take note that. Ang unit dapat ng stress natin ay pounds per is squared. So, eto pound, eto is squared na. Now, this will be pounds per cubic inch. This is now what? Foot per second squared. Kasi mangyayari ito, pag yung squared natin yan, feet squared per second squared. Di ba? So, magka-cancel yung second squared. Pero may matitira siyang feet. So, dapat mawala yung feet na yan. Kaya, pag ganito problem, lagyan nyo lang ito ng 12 inch per foot. Okay? So, sasamahan nyo ngayon siya ng 12 inch per foot we have, diba? So, pag nilagay niyo yung 12 dyan, magka-cancel na yung feet, lalabas yan ay pounds per inch squared na lang. Okay? But, pag nasa SI tayo, ito yung ginagamit natin. Diba? Wala naman sa SI na ganito. If you go to the previous na problem natin, by number 1, wala tayong nilagay. Pero pag nasa English, lalagyan niya lang siya ng 12. If you go to the text, kung makikita niya may nakalagay ng 12 doon. Okay? Now, so using this one, therefore, I can determine this test will be given in terms of pounds per inch squared. Okay, but, take note, ha? Ito, kinoconsider lang natin to na yung efficiency ng joint natin is 100%. Pero ano sabi niya? Di ba, sa problem, meron tayong wireless. Di ba? So, ibig sabihin, pag merong wireless, ano nangyayari? Ano gagawin natin? Alam gawin natin doon sa wireless. Machine wireless. Ibig sabihin ng machine wireless. Ano kailangan natin din sa machine wireless? Yung joint efficiency, di ba? So, ang gagawin nyo, you multiply this by your joint efficiency. Okay? Now, ano yung N natin? So, you go now to the textbook to determine the value for N4, a machine wireless. Nakalagay dyan, di ba? Sir, ano po? 0.88 Wireless, page 4.46 0.88 Wireless 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88 0.88